Just made it to camp. This is the spot I was at about a week ago when we did the archery video. Real awesome spot. So this is Cedar Point in Texas, kind of near Austin. Got some water, we're gonna do some fishing. I'm gonna do some archery. Good old friend Timo, this is his first time doing van life adventure, so we'll get his thoughts throughout this video, but should be a good time. Doing some quick van setup. It is beautiful here today. It's like mid 70s, sun's out, partly cloudy. Oh, there we go. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. <laughs> what do you think? Tasty. You heard it here for Stash Independence. Stash Independence. Local to Austin. So between the visit and work this last week, I haven't been able to shoot the bow in almost a week. So I am very excited right now. I got a little bit of a new weight system for it. So we're adding another ounce to the front and kind of down angled it, which should help with the trajectory of how it swings. There he is, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Cobb Aglis himself, Captain Zero Fish. Catch a little fish, you're gonna throw him back though. Not big enough. It's a meeting of the ducks. All right, so we're one fish in and we've been fishing for probably two hours. Um, not the best, but the sun is coming down right now. So fingers crossed. I, I think unless we catch an adult fish, something like that, we're probably not gonna eat it tonight. We brought some steak and stuff, so we'll be cooking up in here in a little bit, but just a fun process. And me and my buddy Tim have not been fishing in years, so it's cool to be out together, just having fun in nature, enjoying this. Definitely has some big fish. We see a lot jumping out there, but so far, no luck. So Timo is down trying to catch some fish. I'm gonna cook up some dinner because I'm uh, pretty sure we're not catching any fish. Sous vide tri-tip, this is one of my specialties. We got some mashed potatoes I bought, they were pre-made. We got a little salad. Nothing too fancy, but it should be a good dinner. What happened? I just had spiders jump across my foot and then back across the other way. They didn't bite me or anything, but dude, I don't want to do that again. Crazy spiders? Like, yeah. Normal spiders, probably, but crazy enough, I don't want to go out there. Ooh, actually, got salads too. Actually, to be honest, to be honest, looks pretty good. Haley's little, little potato action, like it. What's Haley? Haley, what do you think? You like him? What do you think? She's so excited. Look at that sunset. Oh yeah. Time in reverse, brother. Sun sunrise. <laughs> I know. It's like, <laughs> are you faking this? Thanks, man. Cheers. Happy morning. Happy van life. I've known Tim almost my entire life. We grew up together. Uh, you know, when you get older, you don't get to see your friends as much, especially geographically. So it's cool for me to be able to have him out here. And he actually really wanted to go camping one night. So brought him out in the van. And this video is basically about sharing that with him. So this is the second time I've been able to share the fun of van life uh, with a good friend. And it's always a unique and fun experience. And you realize how small these things are inside. Anyone living out there with two people in these? Yeah. When the weather's nice and you're outside of the van a lot, probably fine. But if you're confined in the van, which luckily we were not, definitely something I could imagine being a challenge. So props to all you out there that are managing to work through that successfully. You What'd know, you think? Uh, actually, probably one of the most beautiful spots I've ever seen camping wise. Nice. I mean, it just surrounded like almost 360 by water. Um, <laughs> couldn't believe how many fish were jumping and we caught, well, you caught one, I caught none <laughs> but, <laughs> but no nice. the weather was great um bugs were eh. what happened i just had spiders jump across my foot a little bad yeah. <laughs> but no couldn't complain had all the right gear you know your van's got probably, everything we need probably should have set up your mattress next time yeah that little gap was you know i felt it yeah well I could tell where it was storyteller fix the gap in the lounge lounge bed <laughs> but uh Sweet dude, thanks for Yeah, well thanks for having me.
Hit that thumbs up. <laughs> Smash that subscribe button. <laughs> subscribe to see more. As always, folks, it's been a pleasure. And I'll see you next time. Yeah, normal spiders probably, but crazy enough, I don't want to go out there. <laughs>